everyone, Christmas is almost upon us and there are lots of parties, so I thought it only appropriate to do a Christmas party look. Hope that you enjoy. Now for me, the main event with this look is actually the hair, because I very rarely spend a lot of time paying any attention to my hair, and today I've made an effort, and so I've got these kind of retro waves almost, and I really, really love this kind of look. It's not quite curly, and it's not beachy waves, but I think it's really, really glamorous for an evening look. So, I'm going to show you how I've done these, because I've used a new tool. I discovered this about two months ago, and you may remember that I put a picture on Instagram of slightly curly hair, and this is the Babyliss Pro Curl. So I'm going to show you how I used this. Lots and lots of you asked for a review, or a demo. So I've started off with slightly dirty hair, it's a day old. I always find that this is a little bit easier to work with in styling because um, on very clean hair it's just slippy and my hair doesn't hold when it's very clean. So, day old hair, which is good news because it's one less thing to do before you have to go out. And here I am, sectioning off my hair. I think the most important thing with using this Pro Curl is to make sure that you get your sectioning right. Because it's a very clever little gadget, this. What it does is you put a strand of hair into the machine, clamp it down, and then when you clamp it, it kind of gobbles it all up, and then heats it into a curl, and then it waits a little while, and then you release it, and you've got this curl. Now, if it's not completely right, it just doesn't let you curl it, and it'll go bing, 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 and then go a bit crazy, and then you just have to release the hair. So it's kind of foolproof, but you really need to make sure that Preparation is key, basically. You need to make sure that you've got all of your sections right. It needs to be a really nice, neat, compact section of hair. And then placing that in the machine, clamping it down, and then there's the Procol gobbling it all up into, into the main body of the machine. And I think this is the closest thing to hair magic that you can get. A little bit of weight, and then release it, and there's your curl. And you can see that once I release the Procol, I'm not kind of stretching out the curl or running the pro curler back through it. You literally want to release the machine and, and grab it away so that the curl is not disturbed. And then as the curl cools, that's when it sets. So the hair is still very warm when it comes out really, but you want to just leave it alone so that the curl sets and then do your makeup, which is what I'm going to do now. So onto the skin, and I wanted to keep this very, very glowy and natural with this quite retro look. I wanted it a little bit tiny bit bronze, Californian, 1970s look. So I've started off by prepping my skin, because this is all about the skin, and I've used Charlotte Tilbury's Wonder Glow. Now, I met Charlotte Tilbury last week, and I've done a whole vlog on it, because I'm gonna be doing a Charlotte Tilbury meetup in January. So if you haven't seen that video, then go and check that out now, uh, and there'll be more details about the meetup in London in January, uh, if you check my website, and there's a link on that other video. But this is a new discovery for me, this is the Wonder Glow, and Charlotte actually showed this to me last week, and I haven't been able to stop using it. You can use it on top of your foundation or underneath, so just a really nice illuminating product. And I've used it as a base, so that's gone on there, and you can see that I've got a lovely sheen. And then on top, more glow, I've used the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Claire, Tom Touche Claire, and this is one of my favourite um, foundations, and I've used this in B30. Now I've just realised I didn't put any concealer on, but actually I think it looks okay. I mean, Tom Touche Claire is quite a nice coverage and it's also got that light reflecting quality to it, so I do find that sometimes I can get away without concealer. And just to finish off my skin, I've used some of my Body Shop bronzer, which I use loads and loads. This one is shade 2, just for a very, very subtle bronzed effect. I don't want to look like some kind of bronze goddess in August because it's winter, so I just want to look like I've got a touch of warmth to my skin. And then going on to the eyes, I've used one of my new favourite palettes. This is the Louise Young Palette 2, and I've been using this peachy colour a lot. It's got a really nice, almost pearlescence to it that really brings your eyes alive and makes them look very awake. And I need that because I'm slightly jet lagged. And then I've used the pure white towards the inner corners of the eyes just to give a little bit of extra life. 
And then the darkest brown, just for a tiny bit of definition. But as you can tell, it's almost like I don't have any eye makeup on. I really want this to be all about a very neutral um, makeup and just to get that really nice, as I said, kind of 1970s Californian beach bunny look. A bit of Clarins Be Long Mascara after I curled my eyelashes and then almost done. And then for lips, I have again one of my tips that I learned from Charlotte last week using a lip liner. I don't ever usually do lip liner unless I'm using a very bright colour. However, Charlotte, even if she's doing a nude lip, she puts on a lip liner and then fills the lips in with a lip liner before the lipstick. And actually, I have to say, it does make quite a lot of difference if you're making a bit more of an effort for a night out and you want the lipstick to last and also you want that perfect lip shape. It just evens everything out. And then my current favourite lipstick, which is shade 169 from Dior, it's called Greige 1947. And I've banged on about this loads and loads and loads, but I just think it's beautiful. It's a very, very enlivening nude colour. Oh, and I also just groomed my eyebrows quickly with some brow gel. This is one that I use loads, a Pixie Duo, just to almost just give me more of a polished finish, I suppose, around the eye area, seeing that I'm not doing much else to the eyes. So that is my final look, and I'm now going to show you the outfit. I'm wearing an Issa dress. I love Issa dresses. They start at around four or five hundred pounds, but I get them on eBay. I've got an alert set up, and um, I know exactly what size I need. Size 10, Issa, and... I'm always snapping them up. So this one, I think I bought for 120 pounds, but I wear it all the time. So absolute bargain. Again, very kind of retro print on this and I've just worn this with nude heels and now I'm ready to go. So hope that you enjoyed that video. Make sure you check out the Charlotte Tilbury video over on my other channel. Make sure you're subscribed and I shall see you next time.